Hey guys, I had a hair on my eyelash and then I had to move it. But anyway, hey guys, now that I have removed the obstruction from my vision, I hope you all are doing well today, this lovely Sunday outside. Um, I want to do a quick review before I start to work out with Dance Central. While my hair still looks nice, I want to do my review. Um, and it is on the Tasty Kiss Whip Shea Hair and Body Butter. I've been killing this stuff lately. Since I got it, I've been using this so much. So I wanted to do a review, even though I still have a ton left. Um, I'm going to just be using it from Wild with Wild Abandon after this review because I use it for so many different things. I'm sure that I'm going to be out of it sooner rather than later. So here is the product. I have, I've been using it a lot, but I still have a ton left, which is awesome. I don't know if you can see, but... This is where, this is about how much I've used where my finger is. This looks like a creepy spider. But yeah, um, here's the consistency. It's very, very creamy. Very yummy consistency. It's not greasy at all. I'm not going to see that like oil slick um, shimmer on my fingers. Here it is. You have to kind of work it a little bit to get it to melt down to a nice oil. It's not like you put your finger in and you're going to get oil. You're going to have a nice cream that you're going to whip around your fingers like this. And there we have it. So I'm going to apply it to my color treated ends because as you can see, they are having a bit of a moment. So I'm going to give them some loving over here. But um, I'm very, very, very pleased with this product. As you guys know, I'm an oil and butter aficionado. I love oils. I love butters. I have... A ton of different varieties and types and I just love them so much um, I've been using this product in a number of different ways which is one of the reasons that I really enjoy it it's very versatile for me I have used it um, primarily as a sealer on wet hair after I detangle I apply my leave-in I let my hair air dry for about 15 minutes just so it's not soaking wet and then I will apply this section by section to seal my hair from root to tip. Root to tip because um, although I do concentrate a little bit more product on my ends because they're colors treated and I want to decrease the number of single strand knots that I have and also um, I find that when I apply a nice butter or oil, especially a butter, that my ends stay smoother, longer, whether it's in a wash and go or when I do a protective style, my ends look better and they seem to curl around themselves a little bit better because I have not been applying my perm rods to the ends. I've just been kind of braiding and twirling around my finger and going because I don't feel like sleeping in perm rods. They hurt sometimes. But um, so yeah, I find that when I apply butter to the ends, not only am I helping to guard against single strand knots, but I'm increasing shine to my color treated ends um, and I am helping to decrease the single strand knots so um, I concentrate more on the ends but I also apply um, to my roots because I've, I've, as I've mentioned my hair can get very very dry it's very tangly and I also like to add that extra all over butter oil layer because it makes my hair shinier smoother and I go two weeks in between styling so I want to kind of lock in as much of that moisture as I can since I am um, have an extended wash schedule I guess you want to call it so yeah so that's why I seal from um, root to tip and um, I just will apply like a dime size amount to each section of my hair after I've applied my leave-in just working in there and um, let that dry for a little bit and then go on to using whatever braiding or styling agent that I have decided to play with that day. Um, the ingredients are really good, really simple and to the point which I like. It includes raw shea butter, coconut oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, vitamin E and fragrance. Speaking of fragrance, these things smell so good. Oh my gosh, like I keep this in my purse and I smell it when I'm using it and I just look special so I hope no one's around when I'm doing that but yeah I can just smell this all day I have it in the watermelon which is this one the watermelon which smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers watermelon lollipop watermelon candy it smells nice and juicy and just good and then I have it in the pink sugar, which I've been killing. I probably have used more of this than the watermelon because I love pink sugar perfume. 
I love pink sugar perfume and one day I'm gonna do like an all-out like explosion of pink sugar I'm gonna use the curl junkie smoothing lotion which smells like pink sugar I'm gonna use the tasty kiss pink sugar to seal with and then I'm gonna use the perfume that day so I'm just gonna be smelling like a walking ad for pink sugar that day but yeah I love how they smell and they really last I used um the pink sugar the first time that I ever used it I used it to seal my hair and after I took out my braids and all that I could still smell the scent and this was almost a week later which is unheard of I was like what are you serious so yeah the scents do last which I really like um, so not only can I use it to kind of smooth away frizz a little bit and add a little bit of shine but it's also a nice little hair perfume which is pretty cool um, the other way that I use it is when I'm taking down my braids, as I did yesterday, I will add just a little bit of the butter to my fingers. Each time I'm taking down a braid, I will, un what is this? This looks so crazy. But um, <laughs> I will take each braid and as I undo it, I have the butter on my finger. So that helps to add a little bit of shine and also decrease frizz a little bit because you guys know that I do have those color treated ends. And um, they tend to get a little bit frizzy as the week progresses when I have my hair in braids. Or um, or in a wash and go, the ends kind of get a little frizzy. But when I have the oil on my fingers or the butter, should I say, I help to decrease the frizz that can form from me undoing my protective styles. Which is really, really cool. And like I said, it adds a little bit of shine and smell good to my hair. So definitely not complaining about that. And I think there's another way that I've been using it. Oh yeah, um, if I have my hair like this, if I have it in a braid out and I notice some frizz starting to come up and say hello, then I'll just add a little bit of the butter just to smooth the frizz a little bit and um, add some shine. Or if I'm putting my hair into a bun, which this will turn into a bun in about three or four days just to get me to the weekend when I restyle again, I'll just use it to put up my bun just to smooth the, you know, little flyaways and all that stuff up into the bun and make it shiny and smooth and pretty so yeah um I really really enjoy this product I love her customer service I didn't expect anything less than stellar customer service from Tasty Redbone her customer service is amazing um I think I've mentioned this in another video but I have I ordered from her around 12 midnight on a Saturday and I can receive my product on a Monday her shipping is lightning fast it's like up there with Avu. it's it's up there it's amazing I was so shocked and pleased that I got my stuff so quickly I was really really happy but um so yes I love butters and oils and all that stuff and this is definitely gonna become one of my boos in my butter and oil collection so yep I like them a lot and they smell so good like I think these are probably the most fragranced butters that I have which is awesome because they last they last for like a week um, I haven't really played with it on my skin too much um, I when I have excess on my hands and um, I'll rub my hands together and my hands will be really really soft until I wash my hands they'll be soft and I like add a little bit to my arm and because I don't want to waste products, I'm not going to like wipe my hands on a paper towel. No, I'm going to put it somewhere on me. And it just gives a nice glow. A nice, I look like I'm like dancing or something. But yeah, it gives a nice glow. So um, I don't really like oils and butters and lotions on my skin. I feel weird. I feel like I'm wasting it when I get in my car because my arms are touching my seat. I'm weird, y'all. But um, if I'm going out and I have to look cute... I will add lotion, but I prefer this to lotion on my skin because it doesn't leave that wet, sticky feeling and it doesn't leave it really greasy because I used to use a Neutrogena body oil instead of lotion and it made me very, very greasy, but this just leaves a nice sheen and gets rid of the whole ashy, ashy thing. So yeah, that's awesome. But yep, I just wanted to do a review of these products because I've been using them so much and now that I've done a review on them. I can just keep using them with Wild Abandon since I've showed you guys what they look like because um, I don't think they're going to make it through the summer, y'all. I love this so much that I think that I'm going to be gone, run through these by the end of the summer because I've used them so often for so many different things. But yep, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, it's Father's Day today, so yeah, a little tough for me. But um, yep, it's kind of...
one of those days. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. So I will see you all in my next video. And I'll put the info to where you can check these butters out as well. Okay, see you later, guys.